There's another way that we can make objects attract, and that's if we have one object that is charged and one object that is uncharged. What happens is the charged object forces the surface of the uncharged object to become temporarily charged. We say it's induced a charge, it's forced it to be charged. Let's take a look at an example. I've got a balloon and a wall. The balloon is the charged object. We've rubbed it previous to this and made it negative overall. Our wall, we haven't rubbed it at all. It's neutral, it's got positives and negatives. When we bring the balloon near to the wall, look at what happens. The negatives, the electrons in the wall, have moved away from the surface. That's because they've been repelled by the balloon. This has left the protons at the surface, which has made the surface positive. We've forced the wall to become temporarily charged. This is an induced charge. Those positives now attract the balloon and the balloon sticks to the wall. Similar example would be when you have little pieces of paper and you rub a rod or a comb and make the comb charged, it will then pick up the little pieces of paper. The pieces of paper, we haven't rubbed them, we haven't made them charged, the comb is forcing them to be charged. It's pushed the negatives down to the bottom, leaving positives up at the top, which attract to the comb.